All right, so we actually had a, one of our neighbor's trees uh, fall down onto the property as a Bradford pear. Um, I've got some pretty decent sized logs out of it and uh, some other branches and a bunch of other stuff. So that's what we're gonna use uh, to try to make this. So first off, I'm going to start by getting this cut down the length. Uh, I don't necessarily need it to be this long. Exactly know how long I need it, but three or four feet is fine. Kind of wish I had a bigger, bigger tooth saw, but I don't yet. All right, so now I have it laid up on its side in my uh, saw mule or whatever you want to call it. I call it a saw mule. Um, I believe that's the, the term. So this side is going to be more where I sit. This side is going to be more where all the other stuff is. I'm going to have one, two legs back here, a single leg up here. And then in the middle, I do want it to be a little thinner. Um, more or less where my legs would go for pushing the treadle. Um, but I also want to get rid of some of these knots. And, uh, I think for a seat, I'd be good at... Up there. And then... I don't know, we'll go... ish all right and and even though i'm a blacksmith on my other channel um, i have not made some of my tools that i need uh, for hewing logs all I have this, just a, I'm not sponsored, but this is just an Ozark Trail on American Hickory Handle, Walmart. <laughs>
Okay, so before I carry on uh, with drilling the holes, utilizing my uh, bit and brace uh, for the legs, I do want to set my angle uh, finder to uh, 12 degrees because uh, I want the legs to be able to be roughly 12 degrees. So I'm actually going to use uh, my speed square. Uh, no, I'm not sponsored by Swanson, but to do that, basically you just set, so I'm just using my workbench. I come down, I have a reference point down here. I come down and then over here, I put to the edge of the workbench to 12, to 10, 11, 12. And then I mark a line. And then now I can take this and lay it right on that line. And then that gives me my 12 degrees to put it out and it gives me my 12 degree splay on my leg. All right, let's go get it done. All right, so on this end, I'm only doing one leg. Uh, the other side, I plan on doing two. Uh, yeah. I'm just double checking to see which Side. Actually, I think I'll do the double legs on this side. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it from where I cut it previously. And get it going. And then from here... I'm just kind of looking down to get that 12 degree angle and this is set at, I don't know, 50 degrees maybe. Make sure I'm still going good. Yeah. If you've never done a bit and brace before, especially in green lumber, it is a workout. Why did I choose 12? I don't know. I've, I've watched a lot of videos on saw horses and <clears throat> shave horses and whatnot, and it always seems like uh, the majority of those, everyone's put the legs at 12 degrees. I'll roll with it. All right, so this is my lovely pile 
a lot of the stuff that I got from the fallen tree. I got another one over there, a few more that are right here, but I need legs. So I think stuff like this will be too small. Obviously it's bigger than the hole I drilled, but I want something that's gonna have not necessarily a shoulder, but I do want it to be consistent. Maybe this size is good. Or oh, this one's fine too. Because that's fairly same thickness all the way up. And that one's a little thicker, but I think I can use this section here for the front. And then just do this one in half. And uh, oh, let's give it a go. I think I'm going to end up using instead of cutting this in half I do want my legs to be as straight as possible so I'll go get another another board another stick alright so I got my other branch is about the same diameter give or take and I want these to be roughly the same length all right John it's coming at you all right so I'll see you on the flip side whenever I get this done and, uh, we go to fit it up So when I'm looking at the end of the the leg, this is the part that's going inside the tenon. I keep looking at the pith, the very center. Uh, I want to try to keep that in the center as much as I can. That way you're keeping the strength of the, the whole board and the, the grain. So this is definitely going to be a, uh, a multi-part build, uh, mainly because I'm doing it all by hand, hand tools, and uh, I really don't want to have a super long video. So I definitely appreciate you uh, following along on this build. Come on back for uh, part two. Hopefully it's only part two, not a part three that goes along with it. But hey, if it comes down to where we got to do a part three, we'll do that. It's fine. Uh, don't forget to click that bell for notifications and click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye now.